Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, May 31st, last day of the month, fifth month of the year, uh, and Trumpy slapping Mexico with some tariff threats. Dollar Max down 2.2% overnight. Would not fade this. Um, in fact, you want to try and pick up some dollar max probably between 1950 and 1940. Hopefully you might get a little bit of vol here, but I don't even, I don't, not even sure. You will see that this is almost surely going to get through 63 today. And kind of, I mean, this is going to go to 20 at least, uh, and, and, and maybe further. Um, so, we don't trade dollar max that often, but this looks pretty serious, uh, and I guess this is, this is what happened when, um, the insane are running the asylum. So, big news there out of max. This, of course, has triggered risk off everywhere. Uh, this is our third attempt down at the 200 day, and we're through. We've printed a new low marginally, 63.30. Um, this is the one, right? This is our third attempt. I think you can add to shorts here. Um, there's going to be hysteria today. There's going to be... Um, the theme is when, you know, when the insane are running the asylum. That's our theme today. Um planning for businesses is going to be impossible uh, you know it's just so unpredictable what leadership in America is going to do with this uh, what leadership in China is going to do with this uh, although I think China is just going to say fuck you that's kind of more predictable um, but risk off uh, risk risk off today Aussie yen important levels here. Seventy-five thirty-five is is uh, seventy-five thirty-three is sort of these are the key lows um, that will bleed into the sort of flash crash lows, which are five hundred points lower. But there's some fresh air down here. Dollar yen got caned down to ten. Um, this key low here. Uh, 109 the figure super important um, gotta be short dollar yen uh, you can sell it now here between 10 and 30 uh, I don't think this is gonna this isn't gonna bounce although if you look at this bar here it did bounce up to 33 so we did get 120 point bounce from from 13 to 33 this is the five minute chart but um, we're we're selling dollar yen here uh, as we speak, um, and through 10, we will also be selling through the figure. Aussie yen also short. Uh, dollar CAD popped up in sympathy with the MEX. We got numbers out of Canada today, so be careful. Just stay away from dollar CAD until the numbers come. Um, this is looks like it's going to be a serious risk off Friday. Gold flying higher, twelve ninety six. Um, went all the way up to twelve ninety seven through this trend line. Um, trading July gold, by the way, now at twelve ninety four seventy. Um, just adds to the risk off mix. What can I say? Uh, risk off crude uh, got smoked. It's just a classic risk off here, people. Uh, put your goggles on and plan. Make sure you're planning here. Just don't go willy nilly on this, but um, this looks quite serious. Chart wise, Aussie yen and dollar yen look uh, the cleanest and most interesting. BTPs are going to get smacked at the open um, pretty bearish day yesterday 
uh, we actually closed at 90 yesterday I'm not sure why this is showing 16 but um, we should open today below this 81 level still a ways to go still an hour and 15 minutes you see boons are up at minus 20 basis points if you take the monthly boon chart this is the all-time highs uh, this is actually going to struggle up here um, but just craziness I guess 168.86 is all-time highs but you can't really look at price because the contract changes you want to look at yield still minus 17 the all-time low in yield is um, minus 20 so what can I say uh, the last thing I guess I want to say is is euro dollar um, 111.06 I mean even though this is the monthly chart let's go to the dailies got this double bottom down here 111.10 111.07 in this kind of environment new lows are usually made hectic uh, trading is to follow so cable and uh, euro are at risk cable traded down to 80 yesterday um, but through 111.08 in euro dollar is also very very serious so obviously euro yen um, this is not a fade today sitting at the lows now just got hammered uh, on this news and looks set to continue uh, further further lower so off the top of my head Aussie is the is the laggard here um, this should start catching up through the figure 69 the figure even though the rate cut is fully priced in uh, this more this negative trade news should should bleed into the Oz as well so Aussie N looks like a decent horse today anyway um, I got some organization to do here and I gotta pay attention so I will cut this short and wish you all an amazing day let's make some dough today people we deserve it ciao